Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Starr over at Queerty, and I'm here with Lexi Brumbach from Cheer on Netflix. She is fierce and she's fabulous, and she's known as being one of the best tumblers in Navarro Cheer history, and here's a little clip to show you why. Come on, Lexi, let's go! Come on, Lexi! Five, yes! Five, yes! Five, yes! Five, yes! Five, yes! Oh, you just hyped me up! Well, how could I not hype you up? Like, come on, you hyped me up. <laughs> On top of that, and being a, an incredible Tumblr, Lexi's also openly uh, bi and proudly bi, and we're going to be chatting about that today. Uh, so Lexi, welcome. Thanks so much for chatting with me. Thanks so much for having me. I love I love the vibes that you have here. I love that. I love that. And I love your vibes. <laughs> right back at you. Thanks, Bo. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so first off, how's everything going, given everything that's going on right now? Um, how are you doing? I've been doing great. Um, I feel like this whole um, quarantine time has been like a really good time to reflect on everything that's going on in your life and plan things that you want to do in the future. And it's been a really good time for creativity. Great. So jumping right into it, in the show, uh, we really see how the cheerleader can be such a place of strength and support and security for queer and gay men. Um, but we don't, what we don't hear that much of is the experience uh, from a queer woman's point of view. Um, and so I'm curious, um, you know, has the cheerleading world been receptive, uh, you know, equally receptive to you as been of, you know, queer and gay men that we've seen? Um, honestly... I haven't really met too many queer females in the cheerleading world. Like, they're definitely out there. But it's really just not as common. But coming um, from my perspective, I've never, like, witnessed any kind of hate or anything. Like, the whole community is super supportive of, like, of the LGBTQ community. And everyone's really, like, like your rock, pretty much. And if anyone comes for you... That's like not in your gr that's not in your squad, like your squad will come for them. Like it's it's like a whole like family and everyone supports each other. I love that. And so since um you don't know that many other sort of queer women in cheerleading, what's that mm -hmm. like for you to be sort of one of the the only ones that are sort of really visible? Yeah, I really like I've never I've never really met like any lesbian or bi like cheerleaders. I would like to though because I feel like that community is like kind of rare and I feel like I would like to know like more of us. Yeah, I mean over the past few years we've been seeing an increase in diversity in so many sports mm -hmm. in so many different areas. So hopefully cheerleading is next in terms of queer women. Yeah. Um, yes, it gets great. better every year. Yeah, that's great. Um, so, so, um, so since the show started, your following has obviously grown like crazy, right? And now so many people are looking up to you. And so I'm wondering, um, at what point did you realize you had really become a role model? Like, when did that feeling really sit, set in for you? Um, and what's that been like? It started to set in whenever I was getting, like, DM after DM after DM of people just telling me, like, that they related to my story, like, so much and that I've inspired them to like be who they are and like just like do do what makes them happy and that even if like things get rough for them that like if you really like you know just shine your light the way that like you want to like you'll attract the right energy and like that life will bring good things to you and good fortune and like it's been it's been really cool to like just see like all of the lives that our stories have touched and it's really amazing to know that like so many people like look up to you and it makes you feel like really like cool that like there's all kinds of other people out there that have like related to a lot of the same things that I've gone through and I, I love that like it makes me feel like like so like worthy and <laughs> it's awesome. Very cool. And earlier when we chatted, you mentioned that you got a lot of messages when you wore um, your boyfriend's shirt uh, during yeah. one of the episodes. Um, so tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I've gotten um, I've gotten some praise from um, some people for just like bringing more awareness to like the community, and that um, it made me really happy to like see that other people were noticing that like I was you know trying to get more eyes on, it, especially with like you know representing that in the show. And um, a lot of people have, like, you know, given me praise for it. And it's been really cool, like, to see, like, how many other people are, like, supportive. And it's awesome. Very cool. And can you just tell everyone, uh, you know, what that shirt said? I think it's yes. Awesome. It was my boyfriend's out of this binary shirt. That's what it said on it. 
I and it's funny song. because some people were like thinking that I was trans and I was like, no, that's my boyfriend's. And um, so, yeah, th there was a little confusion for me wearing that, but it was like, I mainly wore it just because like, you know, I wanted to, you know, bring more attention to that. Yeah, I love it. And I love that shirt so much. It's so cute <laughs> and it's such a great message. It's like the best of both worlds. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah. um, so speaking of your boyfriend, so um, you're, you're dating a pretty prominent trans influencer, Dominic Green. Um, and you guys are absolutely adorable on social media. Um, the videos you post are like, kind of like relationship goals. Like, they're amazing. <laughs> they're, so, so they're so cute. Um, so can you tell me a little bit more about how you guys met? And, you know, during this whole quarantine situation, have you been together? Um, what's that been like? We, um, we met at the beach and we had, we had um, some mutual friends. And that's how we met. And honestly, when I first saw him, he's got these icy blue eyes. And like, we were just in the sunlight and I was like, okay, wow, like he's cute. And then we like got each other's Snapchats and started chatting and then he asked me out and I got so excited. And we've just, like, we clicked like the moment, the first day we hung out, like we clicked so well that like we started hanging out like every day. And like, so far we've been like just attached to each other like we go everywhere together we do everything together he's like my other half and um i literally feel like we're the same person but like just extensions of each other in separate bodies and um we have been quarantining together it's been like pretty nice to have someone that's like always there with you so you don't feel completely alone like during this isolation time he's been like keeping me sane and yeah, he made my quarantine a hell of a lot better than it would have been if I was alone. Very nice, very nice. And I feel you on the icy blue eyes standing out. Like I'm a sucker for icy blue eyes. So I, know. I totally so I feel you on that. <laughs> I saw him a backflip over the quarantine. He did his first backflip like by himself the other day. I was so proud of him. Wow. I mean, I saw, I saw you post something on Instagram about this, like teaching him like a backflip. And I was like, like good for him for trying it out yeah he's a fast learner yeah it looked like it it's not easy <laughs> cool um well uh because we just have a couple more minutes i just wanted to end on pride so this year obviously you know most pride celebrations and pride parades have been canceled which is unfortunate right so i'm wondering you know what do you think uh pride will look like for you this year yeah i mean sadly that like the the parades and everything were canceled but um, I do plan on making, okay, so I'm in the process of making merch right now, like clothing and putting my art and stuff on the, on the um, merchandise and everything. And I do, around Pride time, I want to make a Pride-themed merch line and have a profit of the, a portion of the profits go to an LGBTQ um, charity. And I thought that it'd be really cool to do that because I do want to give back to our, like my community, our community. And um, I, I love that, like, I want to bring like brightness to like someone's day because I mean, the parades and everything that's fun is canceled. So, I mean, it's something that I can do to like give back. Yeah, I don't even know how to respond to that because I'm so excited. Like, I <laughs> cannot even wait to see what that merch looks like. Like, I'll be first in line when it comes out. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> that comes yes. out, and I'm sure so many other people will too. And the fact that you're donating a, a portion of the proceeds, you're planning to donate a portion to LGBTQ charity is absolutely incredible. And I think speaks so much to why um, you've been an inspiration for so many, just that light that you bring to the people around you. And just like, um, I think as an LGBT community, um, we're super lucky to have you. Like that's, like, that's incredible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like it sound that sounded like almost called to you like you know we're so glad to have you and what we're doing but not in that way, not in that way <laughs> no like it's it's awesome to like be a part of this and to like actually be able to have like a voice now because before like I wouldn't be able to do something like this because if I had no followers and like no one would probably buy it but like now like we have like a base and like we can actually like do something to like to give to the community because there's more eyes on us now and like yeah it's it's exciting yeah absolutely well lexi 
Um, that was fantastic. It was so great to chat with you. And uh, this Pride merch, I just, I'm gonna like be looking out for it every day. It's gonna be a good like, one, honey. I'm gonna make it snatched. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I'm so excited to see what you do next because obviously there's so many great things ahead of you and just can't see, wait to see where it goes. Um, so thank you so much to everyone watching. Um, thanks, thanks for tuning in. And uh, most of all, thanks to Lexi. And uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you.